Hello guys, my name is Galen. Welcome you merchants. Welcome to my dirty crafting table that you watched me clean up a little bit of. Hopefully in uh, fast motion. But we'll see if I can get the editing down or not. So I'm thinking that I'm going to show you the different ways that I make abstract paintings. <clears throat> I do a lot of pouring, but I don't really have something that you mix with the paint to stop it from cracking, so a lot of my pouring has cracks in it. And sometimes I do very textured pieces and I use this kind of tool after I put paint on it and I just kind of texture it around and blend a little bit. Uh, sometimes I'll take a brush like this one or this one and I'll put the colors on there and then I'll blend it all and with the ones that I've done like that we've made into bookmarks that we have sold this one has so much color in it still alright we'll clean them later but I think I am going to start with the pour also this right here is my extra paint that when like leftover stuff from other paintings, like all these back here, that you kind of can see. I'll help you out there. <laughs> these ones over here, like all the excess from this, we I put them into uh, this little bottle here, or this little container, and then I pour them onto big ones like that. And I've had some very interesting uh, results from it. As you can see, the colors get pretty crazy in there, and I don't actually know what's in the bottom because all this is old paint, so it could be completely opposite of what should be shown there. Now, <clears throat> I've started to want to have a theme while I'm doing these abstract because it gives the abstract more meaning, I feel like, and, you know, my boyfriend feels like abstract needs a little bit more meaning for it to be useful. I typically do the abstract and then if it's if it needs it, I will add something in it. Like these ones. I'm adding 
spaceships and here it glows in the dark and then it's gonna have something going up and there's a little sun on this one that we punctured with our tool that we got from the thrift store. I love the thrift store. Let me tell you what. This is our finisher. You can't really see it because the Totoro sticker. But um, I bought it, or er, me and my friend bought it, to finish our discs because they were a little bit unfinished. And we just had leftover that we weren't using. And one time I used it, and then I was looking up finishing stuff for painting and it said use that so I was like wow I'm already doing the right thing somehow but what's I know I want to do some gold here because that's new to us recent recent addition <clears throat> I'm thinking a nice red and gold maybe a deep deep red maybe a little bit of mixture with a lighter red maybe Maybe I want a tiny bit of. Is this the same color? Sometimes we have the same color. Red bone. No. I'll add that too. Shoot, I'll just put all these reds in with that gold. I kind of want to put a yellow, but I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll put this muted yellow with it. Yeah. And then, of course, you gotta add the glitter. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be really pouring this. And. <laughs> Typically, I don't really use these except for the extra, but I think I'm going to go pick up one from my other table. I'm thinking I'm going to get a, a better effect than what I normally do. So I guess I'm trying something new, but I'm going to pour it into this cup first and then drip it on. I think I'll get the layers better. Because typically I'll just pour it on there and like make gravity help. And then everything excess at the bottom I scrape up and then put on the top to help create those layers. But I think that this would be easier. So I'm going to start with the darker. I also like to pop these off if I can because it just gets really messy. And sometimes it'll fall into your painting if you're squeezing paint on it. And it's kind of annoying. I'm going to kind of squirt it into the corner. Yeah, I mean, there's no corner, but I think y'all know what I mean. Hopefully. Well, opening a new word. Didn't realize that. That's okay. Everything's going to be used at some point. It's very interesting seeing the different. This one is Tuscan. And the first one I did is Barn Red. I'm going to go in with that one. And then I'm going to go in with the lightest red that we have, or that I'm using, which is Apple Red. <clears throat> This the hollow hologram. I'm all about the hollow, you know. Gotta represent my fellow holosexuals out there. See, it looks really white right now, but honestly, when it dries, it's gonna be very. It's just interesting with the black glitter. Here's one that will pop off this. I'm gonna do a little bit of this light yellow. It is ivory. You know, I think I'm ivory, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm definitely wider than this color. Then we're going to come in with this nice metallic gold color. And I'm going to do quite a bit in there with that. And then we're going to go back in with a couple reds, and then I'm going to pour. And let me tell you, this whole, ab like, this whole abstract stuff takes quite a bit of painting, quite a bit of paint material which sucks but I also do this and it creates really good different abstract stuff that I like. I'm actually going to use this I think to do a little do a little change up in here so I don't feel like I have to 
do it so much on. See that? I don't want it to pour out. I wish it would, uh, pour this one, but that's fine. <clears throat> no, I try not to get paint on the bottles, but, you know, life happens. And then typically I pour drops. And then I always have problems with the sides not wanting to, like, get painted. And let me tell you, I lined this, I lined this for a reason. It doesn't look pretty nice though. I feel like I covered up most of the gold, which is kind of annoying. I might just go back into this little cup here if I can. Quite a bit of color on that side. I just go back in on top and try to get all the white canvas spots covered up pretty much. And I'll take this to do it too. Pop it on there. <clears throat> That's really cool right there. I wonder if you can see it. Yeah, that. It's from the glitter. It's pretty cool. No, not really seeing the gold. I'll probably, probably put some more into the cup. Pour it on. Down. That's why that roll of duct tape very helpful. Even though it's very messy, it was at its last straw anyway. Wasn't really using the cats. I was like cats with cell phones. I'm not sure where that came from actually. See, I'm mixing it up in here. Okay. <clears throat> Definitely changes the painting entirely when you go across like that. And see, like, you want it to cover the entire canvas, and sometimes it does that, so you can kind of help it. And this kind of gives some of these lines a more zigzaggy pattern. If you do side to side, of course you can go down, but it's a little harder because there's so much paint on the side of this. Where your duct tape thing comes in handy again. I don't want the paint to go to drop in between it. I like in the little bit. That might happen, that's why there's so much paint on it. And then if you want, you can go back down this way a little bit to get those lines back where you want them. But you pretty much don't have too much control over them. Honestly, they keep adding paint, which I like to do because it keeps it it keeps it a lot of abstract, you know. And when I'm working with abstract, I like to keep my options open and not really get upset if the painting doesn't turn out the way I wanted it to or I thought it was. That way, I don't make myself sad, you know. It's pretty hard that way, but the picture, the paintings that I do that aren't abstract, I definitely have a lot more feelings about how other people feel about them, but <clears throat> the abstract is really just a stress relief and getting messy. Sometimes it's fun to get messy, you know? Put more of that light pink up in there, too, I think. That one, the, that other yellow, I guess. Looks pretty white with that red, though. <laughs> so I think I'm actually going to start going this way, so I can add this paint right here. Try to get that 
those those spots right there pretty covered, which you can see is actually working out pretty well. <clears throat> it does change the direction of, but that's fine. I don't think life is in one direction. I mean, time is kind of for us, yeah. Gosh, I shouldn't talk about stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> this painting's turning out too bad. And you know, you can always let it dry and then make another layer. Oh no. I thought I was going to cover it up, but I think it missed a little bit. Oh, see, I need it to go all the way right there so it'll cover up that spot too. I really like that swirlage right there, though. There we go. This one should be done soon. I'll probably actually rinse out this bowl so I can, or rinse out this, so I can reuse it for other pours like this. But I will definitely scrape out all this excess and put it into this one over here. <clears throat> it's definitely not too bad. I definitely think that this one. Oh, there's something there. I'm not a big fan of whatever's happening right here. So why you always take off the chunks. But I guess it, it doesn't look too bad. It just has a little indention, but oh well. You can always kind of fix it up with extra uh, of this to even it out, I guess, to level it. Extra of the finisher. Sometimes you can just fill up the little tiny holes if they're being a pain. But also sometimes I like to let the canvas show a little bit and allow it to be drippy looking. And then I paint the canvas either black or you can paint the canvas before you do the dripping so that you don't have to deal with it. But I also like having a thin white line around the drips in between the black and the dripped paint, you know. So I'm going to set this, this painting, which I will show you a little closer in a second, it's up to dry. Not too bad. Pretty cool. I need to set it flat so it stops dripping. All right, guys, thank you. Now you're gonna see me uh, clean up a little bit after I fix this. I have paint on my hands, so it's a little hard. I'm gonna get painty again, but you know, sometimes it, it helps to freshen up. Plus, like, chunks of acrylics that are on it, they're been on there long enough and dried up. I'm gonna scrape this paint.